Hello, today I would like to show you this quite unusual green radio and I'm not sure if this is a military one or a civilian because I'm completely unable to find the model number. The design is quite similar to something that I seen being used by a German public safety to be more precise uh, firefighters but they've got a completely different coloring and the the green one in general is used by military but I've got no idea why this is a uh, interesting radio that's because the model number which is located here on that plate this is a uh, handmade, hand written, and if you notice, I'm completely unable to find the proper model number, so I was unable to Google this radio. It is quite similar to the Bosch radios that I seen. I expect it to be working on the VHF. Here we can see clearly that we've got the. PTT and I would make assumption that those buttons are going to be a selective calling because Germany very enjoy a selective calling on a public safety. We've got a battery compartment here and clearly this radio can be drop into the charger because we've got the contacts. Here is a channel selector switch. There were was a dots that were indicating channels but you clearly cannot see them. But I'm going to open this radio and you are going to see what I'm talking about. Here we've got the speaker microphone and the battery indicator and maybe a signal strength. This is the side. This part is made of metal. That one is also. The back is plastic. And this is the antenna. The antenna port is nothing that you can see on modern device. It is some weird combination of specimen. I do not recognize that socket. It is quite interesting. It has a metal pins that are locking here. So it's larger than SMA, smaller than BNC. I believe that's going to be a volume indicator and that might be a switch and we've got also a connector for a hand microphone headset and if it's mounted we've got a pins that are making a short and most likely enabling or disabling the external speaker so that's how they are routing that's my assumption and let's take a look what we've got inside if we undo the screw on the back then the front plate came off the first thing that we see is that metal plate and on the on the edges we've got a very nice gasket that's making it watertight or waterproof to some extent. Here we've got some model number. The channel switch is also water seal. And this is the content of our radio. Here we've got another model number. So if you recognize this 
you're welcome to leave a comment. As you can see, the PTT switches are extremely nice. They are completely open. So if you've got any problem, you can sandpaper them or you can clear them. I absolutely love this device. This is the speaker microphone or just a speaker and the membrane is made in, of plastic and the design is made in the way that it is outside. So you can see the dirt that's because it was not sealed so it was not blocking the sound. We got some sort of relay. We can see the antenna connector. I expect this to be a VHF. This is how it looks like we've got of lots of cans. I can see a fuse. So that's going to be your first starting point if something is not working. And here is your channels. And I believe you trim and tune each channel by using that tiny dial. You put a plastic screwdriver and you tune the radio. So it is quite interesting. Just so you can read the CAN models. So this is how it looks like. It's looking really, really nice. As I told you, I do not have more information about this unit. The back plate, it don't want to came off easily, so I'm not going to totally disassemble it because there might be a screw. So yeah, this is how it looks like. This is more like a collection piece, but if you've got any information where this radio can be used, could be used, then please let me know in the comment. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.